everyone. Um, okay, so I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm actually having a very good day today, surprising me. It's Monday. I don't know why it's good, but it is. So, last night I did an interview with PJ on PJ's Not So Secret Diary. And I must say, I had a great time. I thought it went very well. And the overwhelming consensus is that people agree with this. So, that's great. And I want to suggest that you go check that out. Now, when I do these interviews, like, for example, when I went on uh, Unirock's channel, and again last night with, on PJ's channel, I'm a guest on their channel. So I'm having a conversation with them. I'm paying attention to them. I don't even have the chat pulled up. I don't look at the chat. Um, the Unirock's chat, I still haven't really even looked at thoroughly. But this chat, it, from the sounds of it, I, it was something I needed to check out. So I looked at it after the stream. And oh boy, do I got some shit to say on this. And I have to say, I'm not going to be looking at the chat when I do these these interviews, if I do anymore. I mean, I don't... I'm still kind of surprised that people want to talk to me. <laughs> so providing that remains the case when I go forward doing these interviews, I'm still not going to be looking at the chat because my discussion, I'm there as a guest to the channel creator and that my discussion is with them. It's not with chat, nor would I have a discussion with chat because chats can be as many people as there are in chat. I'm one person. Why would I do that? But I'm more than amendable. I'm open. Contact me if anyone wants to have a discussion with me. We can go up on stream and have a discussion. I am more than happy to do this with anyone. So, that being said, since chat had their opportunity to ask their questions that didn't get asked um, to me directly, for whatever reason, I think PJ, there was just so much going on, PJ missed it all. I and mean, who wouldn't? I mean, he can't get every single you know, question or comment going on. You just can't. So let me take this opportunity to address some of these. And also, I want to kind of respond back to some of the comments because you know what? <laughs> That's my right. <laughs> Funny. So I also want to put it out there too that a lot of this discussion had to do with Steve. So it's possible Steve and I may be doing our own video and or stream going forward on this. Um, it's just whatever. But right now, I want to cover this myself because I want to address this now myself. So, that being said, let me get over there. I'm not gonna be playing the stream, okay? The sound is going to be off. It's gonna be playing so I, the chat can keep moving, but the sound is going to be off because I don't want to take views from PJ and or this stream. And this, I, I think it was a really good stream and I think that any enjoyment to be had from it will be optimized by watching it rather than seeing snippets of it on my channel or anywhere else. So I encourage you to go and watch it. If not in its entirety, then as close to its entirety as possible, because that's, like I said, that's, I think where you're going to be able to take the most away from it and the enjoyment to be at its most. So that being said, and I will, I'm good, obviously going to include a link in the description. I should, I, I, I'm ashamed to say I forget that one thing a lot. And by all means, feel free to yell at me for it because, God damn it, I deserve it when I forget that. That being said, um, let me get up here. Let me set the playback speed. Because like I said, I want to keep it moving quick. So I'm going to see how fast this is playing back. Can you go faster than two? No, you can't. That's as fast as you can go. So, okay, we're going to leave it there. Okay. Now I'm going to put it on the OBS screen. There we go. <coughs> so, this is the beginning of the chat. As, as you can see, I even cropped out the rest of the video. So, sorry. Um, I will explain if there's not enough context provided in the chat, which there should be, because the chat kind of has their own discussion going at the same time as our discussion. So there usually is enough context to be, you know, taken away from the chat. But if there isn't, I will add to it. I just want to point that out. It's going to take a second here. You know, let me just skip ahead a little bit. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, everyone's saying hi. Hi, hi, hi. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, still saying hi. 
the height shouldn't take long because we we kind of went right right into it which i i kind of respect because i'm not very good with small talk so i must say i respect that very much i don't know what they're talking about there forward ahead a little bit I don't know who they're talking about getting kicked out. No clue. So there was no, con okay. So there's no conflict issues with KJ prior to your anti-KJ channel. Yeah, no, there wasn't. Um, She, uh, PJ mentioned how my channel started, I think in June 2nd of 2020. I didn't, I thought I started it earlier than that, like maybe a month or two earlier than that, but I guess not, I, start, I started in June. Um, right around June, is when I think Katie and I kind of had our first disagreement on Twitter. Our first disagreement had to do with when she posted about her husband being laid off from from CenturyLink, I think was the name of the company. Um, because Katie had went on this whole, uh, I don't know, this whole tangent about how her husband was laid off because of the, the high cost of medical bills due to her son's condition. Like she was basically blaming CenturyLink for not wanting to pay her son's medical bills through insurance. And I simply commented about how that's not quite how it works. And she didn't like me correcting her. So she then deleted her comments and blocked me on Twitter. That was, I believe that was in May. I could be wrong. It could have been sooner than that. Um, but after that though, in June, I think it was June, the end of May or the beginning of June is when the whole um, brewery phone call incident happened or whatever, which I would, that does, I will get to that later on in the comments here. So yeah, there really wasn't any, I mean, the only other discourse really there was is just like solely on my end, because I've said this before, just upon meeting her in the anti-vax group there years ago, I just didn't really like her, but I never let her that be known. It was just one of those things where just, you know how some sometimes someone just rubs you the wrong way it was that I mean it could have very much very well has been my issue more than hers I didn't know at the time I didn't really care to find out either she just rubbed me the wrong way and we didn't really talk that much so it was of no importance really but yeah that's that's it there was no real conflict issues you know and well I mean like I noticed her lying and her hypocrisy but other than that no there wasn't I don't know if that counts or not so I don't know how to include that or not and did I just mess up OBS by doing that? Oh, shit, I did a little bit. Um, window capture, unlock. Let me just fix this quick. All right, there we go. Okay, back to comments. Back with Barbie video was hilarious. I'm not sure what video Hannah's talking about that. I mean, I I, I wonder if maybe she's talking about the video I did in Backwoods, but um, Hannah doesn't usually say nice things toward or to or about me, so I'm reluctant to think that's the case. <laughs> Kay Baxter, let's be honest, KJ content will get someone monetized fast. That is true. Um, though I did not, this was not something I realized or had any inclination about when I started my channel um but I after I became monetized and I became aware of how long it had taken others to become monetized and how long how much longer their channels had existed than mine and they still weren't monetized some of these channels that's when I it kind of became aware to me that the content I was covering may have or likely added to the quickness of my monetization so I must say, I kind of do agree with that. I mean, there's a lot of things I imagine that can get you monetized fast. Just, I happened to stumble into a community that was one of those. Imagine hinging your public self and Katie Joy. I don't know what that means. It's kind of crazy how much interest there is in Katie Joy. I mean, it is, but it isn't. 
I mean, is there really that much interest? I mean, think about it. When you look at in, in the, oh shit, I guess I'm in my eye. In the overall scheme of things, like in the world of YouTube, when you look at all the different communities, all the people on YouTube, all the creators on the platform, all the viewers on the platform, is there really a whole lot of interest in Katie? I mean, in the grand scheme of things, just I don't think that's the case. Um, is our community, or if you want to call it that, is it really any bigger or smaller than any other communities that are, are similar? I mean, I don't know if it is. So I don't know how to answer that. And when you take a step off of YouTube and you go onto other platforms, is she really a big interest there even in the grand scheme? Of, like when you compare it to other things on the platform or every other thing on the platform or even in real life? How many people are talking about her in real life? So is there really that much interest in Katie? I mean, I don't know. I don't know the answer to this. I'm just simply raising these questions. Like, what, do, what is this person basing this on to come to the conclusion that there is this much interest in Katie? I don't know. I'm honestly so interested in human behavior, and that's why I got stuck here. Well, that's kind of, that, that's the case for me. Wait a second. Apparently, I have to mute now for a moment. Is that too loud? No, you're fine. It's, I'm being asked if he can turn the TV up which I have a good microphone, so background noise shouldn't be included much. Okay, where was I? Okay. Your channel should be huge, EKC. Well, thank you, Karma Kid 101 um, I don't know if it should be or not, but I wouldn't mind it if it was. <laughs> it is what it is. You know, I'm not... I'm not... It, I kind of feel like I should be investing more into it if I want more out of it. Um, but... I just, I'm not at the point where I want to do that, right, just yet. I mean, I think I'm investing plenty, and I'm happy with what I'm investing and with what I'm getting in return, so. Oops. So. All right, I don't know what they're talking about, but. Katie, to me, is boring, okay. I just got bored with Katie, and let's fit, I don't know. I'm going to skip ahead in five second increments. Okay, TT says, the brewery call thing was a little sus. I don't put it past someone to have done that, but it was a little strange. Oh, and Kay says, when did going real life become okay? I'll tell you exactly when it becomes okay. When there is someone in danger or seemingly in danger or when you not saying something will will add to the detriment of a situation. That's when going real life not only becomes okay, but it kind of becomes your responsibility given what you have and are witnessing, okay? I want to make that perfectly clear. Just like when it was talked later on in the stream about um, Roadhog, the, the recordings of their fighting or whatever, and what I had said about that when I spoke on it was that don't send it to YouTube creators. If you see something that's concerning, you send it to their local authorities because what the fuck can a YouTube content creator do about it? Nothing. But their local authorities can possibly prevent a situation from going bad real quick. Again, here, just like that, I say, do that. I'm going to hold myself to the same standard. And when I see something that is troubling or potentially damaging or unsafe for an individual, I will act on it. Now, my whole thing was, it's the, I, can't, I can't send this shit to authorities. I'm not involved on either side of this party and me witnessing it, I'm, witness, I'm not even witnessing it. I'm, it's all hearsay. I'm witnessing Katie tell a story that she herself was told. So I can't report anything on that. And like she pointed out in her video, the calls happened in one county and she lives in another county. Where would you even report to? That was a valid question. So my, the only thing really left for me to do was to contact this business and say, dude, you got death threat phone calls about your associate's wife and you guys are refusing to alert authorities? Can I ask why that is? Because 
I wanted to know why. I wanted to know why a business would put themselves in harm's way because what if, God forbid, something happened? They would be opening, the, opening themselves up to culpability, I think, because they didn't act on it. So, but yeah, fuck me because I actually showed a little bit of concern there for Katie Joy. You can bet your ass they came back to bite my ass. <laughs> I can hear you. I don't know if I can hear you. <laughs> I'll know when I listen to it play back. <laughs> okay, it's moving a little fast now. That's great that you agree with Kay Baxter. I will say, though, it's kind of disappointing that not everyone it sees the point of sometimes when it's necessary to alert people in real life of the dangers to someone else in real life i you know I, I, i'm a little disappointed that some people disagree with this and it's whatever hey autistic shell i'm sorry i didn't see you say hello last night and hi steffi if she's around you while you're watching this hi steffi you did unmute the microphone right yes i did Okay, what says activism activism is so much different than calling on a YouTuber you don't like. Well, I mean, if I was just calling on on Katie because I didn't like her, like if I was call, making calls on behalf of my dislike for her, I would be calling a shitload of people. And again, I didn't call anyone. I sent one fucking email to a business. That's it. I didn't call anyone. Like, who calls people anymore? They just, like, I, when people call me, I think, what are you, insane? Why aren't you texting me like normal people? Anyway, but, it, you know, calling's kind of like a boomer concept now, I think. Um, but, yeah, okay, activism is different. Okay, but this was an activism. This I wasn't fighting for a, a social cause or fighting for justice. I was showing concern for a fellow human being. Do I need to pause again? Yeah. Or mute? Wait a second. Okay, so he, he wanted to point out that how oh, I'm talking about phone calls, but I get lots of phone calls from people. Those are friends. I'm not talking about friends. I'm talking about, like, I don't know, just people who you're not on a friend-to-friend -friend relationship with who reach out to you. It's kind of weird when they just call, isn't it? Rather than message or email or text you. That's just me, apparently. I don't know. But, yeah, like someone like Tina or whatever, yeah, I'm to the point now where I get annoyed when it is – our conversations are done through messaging because I ain't got that much time to talk about all the shit we talk about. Call me. <laughs> okay. Oh, where'd you get this secret info that allowed you to obtain a report? I never said it was secret info. I just said that it wasn't something that was like displayed like publicly or whatever. You know, it's not secret. It's not even private. And People want to complain about how I was able to obtain the report. Well, why am I going to sit here and lay down a roadmap for everyone else to do it? You know, it's not even hard to figure out. Just figure it out for your damn selves. <laughs> That's all. Ooh, this is a good one. This Muzz person, like, they seem really pissed off at me. Unpopular question but when do we decide if it's our place to sort of hold a creator accountable plus when is it vigilantism i may not make sense but wondering if hands oh no you make perfect sense because i know exactly where where you're going with this it's, it's, it's kind of obvious to me at this point um but it's 
for you say we we decide like we are deciding as a group i'm not deciding this along with anyone i'm deciding what's right for me and my conscience at any given time in any given situation i don't care what you what you all fucking decide that's all up to you guys you guys do you i'm gonna do me that's when when i feel it's necessary is when i decide to call attention to something now if you want to call that holding someone accountable then so be it but i'm no judge jury and executioner of youtube i'm not sure how it is i bring about accountability i'm just bringing something to light strange though that you think i have all this power to hold someone accountable on youtube that's well thank you really you're wrong but thank you <laughs> vigilantism i don't know what that means like there is no law involved here. Like, vigilantism means that you don't give the law a chance to make things right or to hold someone accountable or to do their job. That you take it upon yourself to, to do that for them. There's no laws being broken here that I'm aware of. There's no refusal to afford it, to include its authorities for me to then take it upon myself. So I don't, you seem to be really exaggerating the situation here. Um... Okay, that's it there. I'm going to let it play in. Yeah, this video won't be too long. Like, I mean, I don't think. I should skip through a little quicker. Let me say, oh, it's, yeah, it is doing five seconds. What the hell does that mean? Someone's asking, Mus, where do you find out if you have the knowledge to debunk anything? Oh, okay. Oh, I see what, okay, yeah, I get that. And someone else asking, so TTS, how did you get the case number? Lucy, so where did the case number come from? No, I didn't tell you? Oh, none yeah. None your damn business. How's that? Go find it for yourself. And it's not something that's unattainable. It's not something that's hidden or, you know, like the public can't have access to. You just got to know how to find it. And it's not even hard. Just figure it out for yourselves. I'm not giving you a roadmap. But I find it strange that everyone wants this report so badly all of a sudden when for the past year and a half, I've been hearing about how wrong it was for me to obtain. But now all you guys seem to want to do is figure out how to get it for yourselves. That's nice. Again, Kay Baxter, how did she, you know, I'm, I'm curious about something, because now that I think about it, Kay Baxter commented a lot. I want to see how many times she commented on this stream, like seriously. I'm genuinely curious. So, let's find that out, shall we? If I can get back to, oh my God, if I can get back to my browser, there we go. Okay. Now this is working, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to do just a quick little chat replay search here. Here, I'm going to put this on chat replay. Wow! 114 times her name is mentioned in the chat. Now, for obviously, it's not all going to be from her. But... I'm just, it starts out, the way this works here, the way they, they list things is everything from Kay Baxter is listed first. And then everything with Kay Baxter's name in it, like someone else in chat said at Kay Baxter, is then listed second. So everything that you're going to see in the beginning of this scroll up is all Kay Baxter commenting. So here we go. If you see the bar there on the right, you can see about how close we are to halfway through. All right, so right here, Iris Badass comes in with the first non-K Baxter comment. And we, as you can see, we're just over halfway through the entirety of the scroll. So that means out of 114 times, K Baxter commented at least half of those times. What's that? That's 57 times? 57 times K Baxter commented in this chat. That's a fucking lot. I'm just I don't even think any, any of the mods commented that many times. I'm just saying. I could be wrong, but whatever. Anyways, let's go back here. All right. Oh, wait. Did I? 
we want to come in. How did she get the case number? Again, figure out yourselves. I'm not here to do your job for you. I never said uni couldn't get it. I said uni couldn't get the report without that bit of info. I never said uni couldn't get that bit of info. Yeah, I said it was something Katie never made. I don't even know if Katie even knew that, knew her case number. Because the way she talks about it, she never even seen the report or anything. So I'm guessing she didn't. I don't know. You can always have a facts debate. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't know what that means. She does dreams trying to debunk that he could have essayed anyone where she promotes his girlfriend. Stream, I do streams, plural? Because I don't recall doing streams. I did one stream and I did one video. And the video was just, that wasn't even giving an opinion or commentating. All that was, was just reading what was submitted to the court and showing the evidence submitted to the court and you all can take away from that whatever you all want to take away from but i wanted to just have all the i want to lay it all out all the facts of what it was claimed and submitted for people to then form their opinions off of rather than going off of this, these bullshit fucking claims from everyone else who haven't even seen any of that i made what was unseen before then available to be seen for people to then conclude on their own um Yes, I do share his GoFundMe. His GoFundMe is the only GoFundMe I have shared to this date. And this has nothing to do with Uni Rock and his fraud raiser bullshit. I didn't even hear about that until, I don't know, less than a year ago. Um, but that has to do with my own experience of realizing and learning how full of shit a lot of people are in GoFundMe and how many scammers there are. And it's really, no one's got the time to look into every freaking campaign that comes their way. I don't really care to either. So I just make it a point not to share things like that. Even with like Amazon wish lists, I don't, I don't promote that. What I will do instead, if it's someone like a regular in the community and I can afford to do it, I will then purchase something off the list myself and leave it at that. So that way, if, there, if any impropriety or whatever does come out to be known, then I'm the only one who's out and I'm fine with that. I don't, I don't put into it what I'm not comfortable having found out to have been wasted. Um, like. I've done that with several GoFundMe's now. Like I've done that with Jennifer. F oh no, they were they were Amazon wish lists with Jennifer's. I've done that with PJ. I she did a wish list for her daughter, and I I purchased one of the things on there. I shit, I don't even know if I put my name on that. I have no idea, because I I didn't know much about Amazon wish lists. I didn't even know about putting your name on. I think Jennifer Falk the, and I just did it not too long ago. I think that was when I first realized that you, you kind of have to make an effort to have your name put on it. I don't know, like um. And my, my moderator, Megan, she had one, and I did the same with her. I don't... Really? She's definitely afraid of this. Sorry about that. Apparently... Someone burned something in the kitchen. All set? All set? I'm, I'm back. I'm back on now. I. Okay. Anyway, moving on. So. And I don't do streams trying to debunk anything. I do streams. <clears throat> Just when I know something, I, I'm not setting out to debunk. I only reveal what I already know to be the case. Again, this has nothing to do with Steve and, and all that shit. I, no offense to Steve, but I don't care. I just, I see this lie being perpetrated on him, not just by Katie. I mean, Katie doesn't even talk about it anymore, but this whole freaking community on Twitter can't fucking drop it. It's like some imaginary dick that they can't get off of. And really, at this point, they need to either get off of it or choke on it. 
which I have to thank Reagan for that saying. I just read her, her say that in a tweet not too long ago, and I spit my drink out all over myself laughing. So thank you for that. Um, but for real, though, that's the truth. And that's what I'm talking about. And it's still not even streams. It's not streams. But regardless, there's no evidence he did this. In fact, it, there's a surprisingly, shockingly um, absence of any kind of evidence to even suggest that he did this, let alone prove that he did this. Like Katie has herself has stated, I don't know how many times, oh, wait, wait, I can't be the only one. Wait, till, all these women are going to come forward. It's been what, like two years? Three years? Ain't another bitch come forward yet. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, let me go back to playing. It, okay, TT says, I feel like it's abusing the legal system if you're suing someone just to make them spend money. Well, no shit. It's, there, those are called slap suits. Um, and there's actually states that have anti-slap le um, legislation so that people don't do that. That's not what I said. I didn't say that, you know, let's help him sue her just so he, she loses money. I said that he, in my opinion, has a really good case and he deserves to, to have his day in court because of all the bullshit that she's done. And at the very least, if he doesn't win, well, at least we will know that he did cause her to spend some money. That's what I said. I'm not saying that as a selling point or a talking point. I'm saying it as a worst case scenario point. to one person's worse than Katie. Oh. It's subjective. Oh, Sheila asks, I take uncivil law's opinion on their weak case. Great. That's awesome because I agree. I mean, and uncivil law's take on that was that, Steve, it, it feels like a rough draft of a, um, is the word I'm looking for? Oh, not petition, submission, whatever. I, I can't think of the word now. But it, Uncivil Law said, you know, these, these are good talking points, and he could very well have a case, you know, I, the, but this seems like a rough draft. Like, there's, there's information missing out of this that needs to be included to, to explain what it is. He needs to be more precise about his claims and about what it is he's, he's saying and, and how he knows it's, it's not true or whatever. You know, he needs, he doesn't have to present all the discovery or whatever right now, but he, this is way too vague. That's what Uncivil Law's take on it was. But his take on it was that the claims, you know, if, if this is the case, if this is the case, if this is the case, you know, then yeah, he's got a pretty good case. He just not with it written the way it's written. So that's great though that you agree with that. Fantastic. Two people can be equally shitty people. I can support that. <laughs> yes, but to be fair, can he prove he lost money due to her specifically? I don't know. And in fact, I know that I, it, here's where I'm kind of ignorant on this. He's I know he's suing for something called defamation per se. I don't know if that's for damages. I don't know. You, you ask him. I don't know. Anyway. What the hell is, that doesn't even make sense. Would you also try to claim that those people could never have SH'd anyone? Why are you so invested in that with Steve who has done far worse than what? You're wrong. You are flat out wrong. This, it must be so sad to be you. Like, I don't know who you're talking about. First of all, those claims about people who could have SH'd it. I'm not sure what you mean. 
it seems like you're you're reaching, you're pulling at everything really far away to try to bring it all back to Steve because that's where your heart lives. Anyway, um, I'm not invested in anything with Steve. I'm invested in your guys' obsession. That's what's got me drawn in. This has nothing to do with Steve. Steve didn't draw me into this. In fact, for the longest time, I didn't want to know or commentate on any of this shit because it just seems like a big freaking mess and just a big headache that nobody wants. And I got to say, my initial impression was kind of right. That's not what drew me in, though. It was you. It was you all that drew me in. It was your freaky, crazy, unrationalistic obsession with this. Like, that's what I'm fascinated with. The, the extent in which you people will go to lie and to make things up and to twist and turn and bring everything back to where your heart lives in Steve's mind. I mean, it's fucking, it's, dude, like, there needs to be a whole fucking college course on this, this alone. Just this. I'm just on you guys. Because, holy shit, there would be, they, they, they could be like a psychology master's course. It's, that's how crazy you all are. I see, oh, I'm an idiot. I gotta, wait, okay. That's gonna speed by if I let it. Um, yep, there it goes. Hannah Bananas, yes, thank you. We don't want to talk about him either. Thank you. This right here. But yet, we are still doing his bidding work. Dude, Nikki, you were a mod of mine up until recently. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, I've been very good at not commenting on the shit you're saying you know, about me publicly because I do, I still feel I owe you much gratitude for everything you've done for me in the channel. And that doesn't, it's not changing. But you are talking at me here because this is a stream I was on and I'm assuming that you are assuming I'm reading the chat, but I wasn't. Um, please tell me how I'm doing his bidding work and how is it his bidding work I'm doing and not my own. Please tell me this. I mean, you made this claim. Please show me how this is the case. I want to know. Aaron, I don't think people necessarily care if you are friends with Steve, but when you publicly defend him, people are going to question him because he's very controversial. Well, I, what does my being friends with him have to do anything? And I'm not defending him. It's not him I defend. It's what I'm doing is calling into question the craziest shit people are saying. When it's so easily, like anyone can find the answers to these questions that they're asking or the proof or the lack of proof to the things that they claim, but no one bothers because they just want to push a narrative. That's insane to me. That's what's got me questioning. That's what's got me drawn in. I don't give a shit about Steve. This one's chill. This was brought up several times. There are more problematic people on YouTube to call out. Well, good, then go call them out. Go ahead. You have that right at your capability in your hands. If you think someone else is more deserving, deserving of being called out on YouTube, then by all means, take it upon yourself and do it. Go for it. Because you know what? I'm willing to bet that when a, a news report reports on a car crash, I bet that there's more deserving car crashes to be reported on, but they're not doing it. So do you question them too? Just wondering. Oh, this one. Yeah, I saw this one. For me, it was when there was a stream calling it Steve's Facts, when it was his opinions, and that felt dishonest for a man who hates dishonesty or whatever it fell off. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because the only thing I, I called Facts was in a stream, and Steve wasn't a part of it. it like I said, I didn't even commentate on it. I just read what was in the petitions, what was stated, what was submitted to the court, and the evidence provided. I just stated the facts of 
the case of what, what was presented. What was, I stated factually what each side claimed and what they submitted as evidence. That's the facts that I, I, su I supplied, whatever. That's it. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Sheila S says, you keep saying you are trying to move on and do other content, but that was months ago. I never said I was trying to move on. I said I was trying to do add other content. There's other things I wanted to do with my channel, but I was still going to talk about Katie. And I do think that I have been um, successful in that. I mean, there are other creators I've covered, so whatever. Why not talk about all those people? Oh, there, there we go. There are a lot of people that do fucked up. Why not talk about all those people? Because I don't want to. Because I'm unaware of it. Because I can't know everything that you know, maybe. Because I talk about the things that I feel interested in. And those who share my interests are more than welcome to watch. And even those who don't are more than welcome to watch. But that's why I do what I do. If you feel that people are more fucked up and more deserving of being discussed, then by all means, go do that. I support you doing that. I can't even understand some of these. <sighs> I understand you're friends with Steve, but it's okay for others not to like him. Why do you get so upset that we don't? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't care if anyone likes Steve. I don't care if everyone hates him. I don't care. I don't care. The only thing that I find crazy and absurd is the way everyone fucking attacks him online and comes at him and talks all these crazy fucking lies and shit about him. That's what I find absurd. I don't care. And you know what? And here's the thing. If you're going to publicly put out all of this defaming information on someone for no reason and without proof, then you know what? You open yourself to criticism and you're going to get the criticism. That's what I'm criticizing. If people just, people, if people just tweet it, I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. I would never even read those tweets. I wouldn't care. I don't fucking care. But it's this this mob mentality and this insane... I mean, you talk about cyberbullying and shit. I mean, dude, that's what you all are. You can... I don't care if... You, you can think the same about me. I don't give a shit. But I'm not doing any of the shit that you all are doing to Steve. I'm not. Not even close. This is fucking crazy. Hell, I make parody videos. I do satire. I make jokes. You guys are really trying to ruin this man's fucking life. Like, he showed pictures of, a, of him and himself out on a date, and people want people contacted his fucking date because they can't stand him. That's crazy. Some could say there are a ton of unapologetic, problematic YouTubers. Sure they can. Okay, I, I think that that would stand to reason anywhere in life, not just YouTube, but point. And again, like, and maybe this is me being lazy. Okay. I do like to make the funny parody videos and make jokes and, and everything and whatever. And yeah, Katie makes that very fucking easy for me to do. Maybe it's she makes it easy for me to do because it's Katie or maybe she makes it easy for me to do because I can kind of relate to Katie in a lot of ways because I think that there are a lot of similarities between she and I and by the grace of God, I am who I am and not who she is. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's me being lazy because this is easy for me to do. I, that's a possibility. But other than that, I mean, it's what I want to talk about. You don't have to listen. I mean, I hope you do. I hope you do give it a chance because why not? But I understand if you don't want to.
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why does she always try to make excuses for his perv shit while pulling our <laughs> reports of his critics and promoting his credit? Gee, Lucy, Lucy, who are you? Who are you here for on behalf of? Because I, this is what I find exploitative. I have said over and over again the facts of the matter. And when people like you come into something and publicly like, it, ignore the facts of the matter and write shit like this, well... It is you, in fact, who is promoting and exploiting shit, not myself. So, yeah. I, I don't know what perv shit you're talking about. See, perv shit, I think that's subjective. What you may find pervy in someone, I think maybe others won't. And I also think you will find something pervy in someone that you will find normal in someone else. It all depends on how you feel about that person. If someone you feel is kind of just beneath you or unattractive or you're grossed out by who says something, you're going to take it as perverted. But if someone you think is you're interested in or you think is attractive and you're into says the same thing, you're going to think that's hot. So you know what? This is all subjective and I just really can't even address that without knowing what viewpoint in which you're speaking from. And... <laughs> God forbid you give that much information because that would mean that you actually mean what you're saying and you don't. Yeah, Steve was accused of orchestrating that by KJ. That's true. There's, yeah, plenty of content. Content. What am I doing? Why is this? Come on, pause. I got plenty of content to, to create to critique on the daily. Okay. Uh, is this where did you get the case number? And why did you say none of us could get it? I never said none of you could get the case number. I said you couldn't get the report without it. And where I got it? Well, I got it just by fucking understanding basic things. I mean, it's there for anyone to get. You just got to know where to look and whatever. Go figure it out. And again, I find this interesting that everyone wants to now get this report so badly. When You know, it's kind of weird. Legit, I completely disagree with you on that. So, yeah. Thank you, Loretta. It was a big decision I made and was manipulated by Erin to have that on my channel. It made sense to do that on her channel. My channel had, I mean, I wasn't even monetized yet. I had less than a thousand subscribers. Red had been monetized for a while. I mean, her channel was much larger than mine. That's why we did it there. It made sense. And she was more than, and you, well, I mean, I don't know if she was, not, I don't say more than happy to because that makes it sound like she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, she was like, yeah, sure. Okay, so this was not an issue. I didn't, no one had me talked into anything. I, we were both in agreement on this. But had she shown or, or spoke of reservation, I would have gladly done it on my channel. Yeah, and I find it really, it's, it's really kind of an insulting thing to keep really saying about Little Red. Because <laughs> that makes her sound like someone who's weak-minded and easy, easily manipulated and used. I would be pissed if people were talking about me in that manner. And Little Red is not at all that. Like, not at all. She may be accommodating. She may want to, you know, be nice to her friends and everything. But she's not going to go against her core values or, or morals to appease anyone. Hell no. Oh, Lucy, it was to save the community, LOL. <laughs> I'm sorry that you think that that's so funny. I didn't say it was to save a community. It was to hopefully prevent harm from coming to the community. That's not saving it. But it's kind of gross that you find that so humorous. This right here, it's concerning because it sets a precedent. What precedent? That people are going to lie about authorities that 
people might want to expose the lies or at least get to the bottom of the lies to find out if they're lies, that's the precedent. Because if that's the precedent, I'm okay with that shit. I'm okay with accountability like that. I'm perfectly fine with that. But you're, I know that that's not the precedent you're thinking of because you can't even begin to allow yourself to accept the facts of the matter. You want to hold on to this, this theory, this, this Im- imagery of what it is you think I did. So I can't even have a logical discussion with you because you can't let go of the illogical. Hey, Baxter, again. It makes no sense that you say you believe her, yet you read that report. Really? Because I wasn't calling into question any of the things I said I believed her on. I was calling into question her lies about the officer. So I'm sorry that that doesn't make sense to you. I don't know how else I can break it down. TT, how many of her viewers are even in her area and could be affected by what she said about the cops? I don't know. That's a problem. Nobody really knows. But I do know this much. People who are claiming to be local to her and who herself claimed were local to her, including her mother, were commenting on this on her Facebook page as though they believed the shit she was saying about the officer. So all I saw was that there's evidence of that possibility becoming a reality. I, I'll, I'll still never understand. I enjoy EKC and respect her. I'll never agree with that. I mean, you had no relationship to her. If someone in her town wanted to do stuff about it, maybe, but that, but this was online. Right, this was online. And as we all know, shit online can go real life and often does and vice versa. I mean, if you're now going to tell me that that doesn't, but then in the, your next breath you're going to say, why go real life? That's kind of hypocritical. Um, so that being said... What I did was I informed someone in the community. I informed the police department. I didn't take to the newspapers. I didn't take up a crusade or anything. I informed the community so they could then act on it and do what they needed to do. That's what I did. Oh, and I don't blame her being, I don't blame her for being salty about it either but they're being salty about it. And then there is going online to a huge platform and saying all these horrific things about the advocate, okay? These are not, these are, if you're going to call that salty, holy shit, then what do you call like vengeful? I mean. Yes, I realize, no, Police have done those things. Exactly. Which is all that. See, in the, right here, you guys in chat are proving my point. You're proving my case for me. People are so, everyone's vision and view of police is so tainted. And I understand. I'm not arguing that there's no reason for it. Sure there is. But everyone wants to hold on to this belief and this thought that every, everyone in authority is just, is, is corrupt. So I think it's all that much more important to point out that when one isn't, that they're not, especially when they're being accused of being so. You're making it, you're making it become realized how important it is to point out when this is not the case. Thank you for that. It's gonna take me forever to get through. It's not far-fetched to believe the cop did what KD claimed, in my opinion. That's the problem. If that's everyone's take on it, then it's all that much more important to point out that that did not happen. If it didn't happen, it needs to be said. It needs to be shown. Thank you, for again, for proving this for me. 
I mean, if, if there was a chance that no one was going to believe this shit, then maybe I would have acted differently. Maybe there wasn't, wouldn't have been some sort of sense of urgency or, or importance to, uh, tied to it. But the fact that, as you guys are proving, that this would have been easily believed because of the past experiences throughout any, all areas, then it becomes that much more important to point out that this was bullshit. <laughs> okay, I can ask that when you when when people say that hold her accountable for what? Like who are we? She's just a random chick from Minnesota, you know? Well, this isn't Minnesota. YouTube ain't Minnesota. So she's not some random chick from Minnesota on YouTube. Okay, let's get that straight. Sure, where she lives, she's in Minnesota. But I hear on YouTube she's not. Like, it, I'm not viewed as some random chick from New York. Genuinely asking because, or by the way, always trying to get the answer to it. What? Wait, wait, let me mute again. Oh, shoot, that's right. I was supposed to call Tina back. I forgot. Um, okay. Um, oh, that wasn't even a question to me, so I'm not going to bother answering. <laughs> Why not admit that you did it to her, Katie, and it was a mistake? <laughs> well, it wasn't a mistake. Um, I feel very confident with the way things concluded that it was definitely not a mistake, and if anything, it was anything other than a mistake. Like, I'm, I'm glad I did it because of how it was concluded. But that I did it to hurt KG? If I wanted to hurt Katie, then I would have attacked her for any the smallest amount of dis discrepancy in her remembering of events. I would have brought that to light and I would have drilled home about it. And I would have cared to maybe contact other certain people that I really don't ever want to contact, nor would I really even entertain had they contacted me. So if I wanted to hurt Katie, there's a lot of ways I could have tried to hurt Katie. It's still good. Don't care to. So. Okay, again. Department investigated themselves and found nothing wrong. Imagine that, huh? They didn't investigate themselves. They in. I did unmute myself, right? Okay. They didn't investigate themselves. They investigated one officer, one of their in one of their officers there, and. Hmm. Had they found that he was guilty of anything, but they just didn't want to make a big deal about it, well then, if, like you're suggesting, like you're you're suggesting that they're covering up and they're lying for it, then why would he still be employed and put left in a situation to re repeat the same offense again and again? They would, at the very very least, removed him from ever causing that kind of damage again and putting the department at risk. But they didn't do. Um, someone says, imagine she was a victim and guy got away with that. I'd be pretty pissed too. Call, I would call out him and his family and you too, blah, blah, blah. I didn't care about that. I mean, I think that's kind of fucked up to call out his family, but whatever. I don't really care. Um, that wasn't my issue. I didn't care about that. It was when she started calling out the officer for nonsense, for lies. That's what I cared about. <laughs> completely lacks knowledge of in police departments and basically everything relevant you don't Lucy you, Lucy you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about for real you don't it's comical even confirm liars tell the truth sometimes well sure even a broken clock is right twice a day what's your point that so because because a broken clock is right twice a day, therefore I should believe it's that time every time I look at the clock throughout the day. Is that what you're saying? Make that make sense.
Did the police even know what Katie said? Um, I don't know if they knew the extent of it or if, I don't know really the answer to that, but I do know that if they did know anything, they did not know the extent of it until I told them. Oh, Nikki, why you gotta lie like that about me? Protect the cup fine, by, but dissecting the essay further on truth is a whole different story. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what are you talking about? Like, it, proof of what I, first explain what it is you're talking about and provide examples so I can really understand because that makes no sense to me. Thank you, Chanley. Oh my God, like the, the first real voice of reason here. I guess I don't get why so many people feel the need for an apology about this. Erin feels how she feels, others feel how they feel. It's not going to change, so I continue this circular discussion. Exactly, I don't wanna talk about this anymore. I wanna put it to rest, I wanna forget about it, I wanna move on, but nobody else wants to. People wanna sit there and say, why do you keep talking about it? Probably because nobody else will shut up about it and they keep asking me about it. They, I'm, I'm asked to come on to for an interview or to, for a discussion, and this is where they, they bring it every time. I, what the fuck? I mean, that's exploitative. Thank you, y'all. Nana's not drunk. If it's my husband, she's ranting and raving about to over a hundred thousand people. I'm glad it was called out. You know, and that's the thing. Like, I get people, especially in a community mostly filled with women. I mean, my viewers are like ninety-six something percent women. I get that everyone's concern is with Katie in this matter, but there, she has no right to create a victim and an advocate and someone advocating for her because she's pissed off about something 13 years later. She doesn't have that right, none of us do. I'm sorry that you think she does. That's crazy, but seriously, why don't you go ask some of your cop friends about it, see how they feel. Ask them, ask your any of the men in your family how they feel about it. I mean, because there is, like it or not, this crime does affect both men and women. Ask them. Oh, thank you, Laura. I didn't even see this. It's because she is so unbelievably problematic and EKC is so good at it. Why not? Thank you. Thank you. You are too, you know. Not problematic, good at it. <laughs> All KBACs are asking the same question again. How did she get the case number? Why do you want to know so bad, Case? Do, okay, do you want the case? Do you want the report? Is that it? Because it sounds to me like you want the fucking report. And I'm not saying I'd give it to you, but you, you would think a logical person would at least try and ask me first. Yeah, you know, rather than do this shit. I mean, it's weird. But um, sounds to me like you want the fucking report. No, I get, I get it's our business, but it happened. I just mean, why is it our place to be vigilantes kind of thing? Where, where was I a vigilante? Really? How did I, what, how's that? I kind of like that though. I like being kind of viewed as a vigilante. I don't know why, that just seems really cool to me. <laughs> Uh, Squidward, to me, she's a nobody who's irrelevant. Okay, I read that wrong for a second. My bad. Never mind. I can't speak for him, but I have a hard time letting it go because of the precedent it sets. There is no precedent it sets. There is none. There is none. Okay, this, you know when I did this? Little Red and I did our stream, I think it was on like December, or not December, no, um, October 26th. 2020 so it's a year and a half ago how many others have been read on the live stream since then how many where's this precedent where is the proof that this was a precedent set where who else who else has done this where what who have i inspired to do this 
name one string. I've heard people threaten to do it, but um, I kind of heard people threaten to do it before then, too. I mean, I don't see how that applies at all, but a threat and doing it are two different things. So please, show me how I set this precedent. Show me who did this. Show me who I inspired to do the same thing. Show me where I'm wrong. And again, like I said in the stream over and over and over again to PJ, I didn't do this because I got mad at PJ, or I, PJ, sorry. I didn't do this because I got mad at Katie or I didn't like Katie. They had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. It had to do with the lie she was telling on the officer because PJ wanted to, it had brought up several times, well, what, what if I just suddenly decide tomorrow I don't like you and I go and I find this and I put this up and, well, that would be pretty fucked up because you'd be doing it because you just suddenly decided you didn't like me. That's not what I did. I love how everyone just assumes that I could not possibly know or understand how Katie feels. And I love how people just want to seem like that, whether or not I have any justification of doing what I did, it, it relies so heavily on that because that's kind of weird. Question, is it fair to say that your friendship with Steve McRae is open to criticism due to your video nine days ago when you state that nobody gave you shit for the essay report prior to? I didn't say nobody gave me shit. I said nobody in, tw well, maybe I didn't say this, but this is what, in the context of the conversation, this is what I meant. Nobody on Twitter gave me shit for it. The overwhelming shit I've gotten about it on Twitter has started in May, May to June 2021. Any shit that I'm possibly seen from it before then was almost entirely on YouTube. So. Again, someone asking about the fucking case number. Gee, it's why do you people want to get the, the report so bad, but you give me shit for getting it? I don't get that. The Department of Investigation is a report out there. Um, I don't know. You'd have to contact the department about that, I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, if you don't know the department, what department is, I will, I will reach out to me and I will let you know privately. Um, I'm not going to put it on blast because that's kind of the problem here. So, but yeah, just Irish, if you want to know, let me know and I'll tell you the name of the department. You're more than welcome to find out. <sighs> when you did the stream, you seemed to change your tune when the chat got upset. This is when you first said you believe KJ was. Or, okay, um, well, I hadn't really talked about it before. I, see, one of the things that kind of solidified it with me to believe that something happened was was seeing how consistent she remained. She remained in her story, in her telling of events of that night. That didn't happen. I, I didn't see this consistency until I got the report. So why would I have talked about it beforehand? So, I mean, it, I don't know what to say. <laughs> if an officer, if the officer has issue with her alleged defamatory claims, then he could deal with it. I don't think a YouTube stream would help anything you're right but how can he deal with it if he doesn't know about it <laughs> what the fuck thank you colleen case numbers are public records people exactly Oh, 
okay, Baxter. It's only okay for Aaron to have it. LOL, huh? Really? Is that what I said? Did I say it's only okay for me to have it? I just said that I'm not going to lay the roadmap for everyone to get it. Since, especially, since everyone seems to have such a problem with anyone getting it. Why would I then do that? But I'm sorry that, I mean, if you want it so badly, then just go get it. Figure it out. Weird. But you put out the FOIA request so that it does give people a pathway? What? <laughs> I didn't create FOIA. I didn't recreate, I did not create FOIA. And in fact, the FOIA request, the, the, the format I used, I copied from Google. So again, I didn't put it out there. Fucking, <laughs> it's so funny, oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. How, wow. I didn't say that the case number was secret. I just said that it wasn't being public, being put on public display. Wow, whatever. Who are we to feel we should be the one to hold this random chick in Minnesota accountable for anything? Who? Again, it's not that she's a random chick in Minnesota. I don't care about that. It's that she's talking about this on a large public platform, creating lies and everything on YouTube. That's my problem. And who the hell am I to decide that? And I'm not trying to hold her accountable, first of all. Let's just, let's let go with the word accountability. Because again, I'm not judge, jury, and executioner of YouTube. I can't hold anyone accountable. But who am I to call, to, uh, call into question? I'm a human. That's who I am. I have every right to call that into question, should I want to. You can listen, you can not listen. I don't really care. But that's who I am. Don't act like I don't have some sort of right to talk on matters that it, that... I see or witness. We all do. We all have that right. Okay. Oh, and Nikki May, I was a minor. Would you like my report? What are you talking about? Do you, do you, are you trying to, oh my God, dude, you're trying to make, you're trying to create some narrative that I just like to go around and talking on people's reports, even a minor? Like, that, how is that not dishonest? How is that not manipulative? How is that not fucking disgusting? And especially as someone who used to be a moderator for me. And let's face it, you didn't leave because you have some sort of moral issue with something I did. You left because you didn't like that I liked someone or that I was friends with someone, that I wasn't buying bullshit on someone. That's why you left. And that someone had nothing to do with any of this, mind you, okay? Let's just be honest here. Let's be real. I mean, can you? I See, right now I feel a little bad for even coming at that this hard because I do I really do feel a lot of gratitude for the shit you did for me and my channel I really fucking do but this right here the shit that I've read lately that you and JC have said about me like that fucking hurts because like I thought that we were at least friendly on decent terms our friends and then I see you guys just so easily and willing to talk about me like this out in public like yeah that fucking affects me and and I'm letting it get to me and I need to I need to shut the fuck up. I I'm just gonna ignore you for the rest of this fucking chat. I don't even care. Irish Badass, I do now see how it that could have sounded like a challenge or whatever or a dare or something to you direct. That's not at all how I meant it. i I was trying to prove a point that because everyone was talking about how, oh now anyone and everyone's gonna do this. I was trying to prove a point how it's not that simple. It's not so easy as just getting the idea to do it and then going to do it. That was my whole point when I said, go ahead, go ahead, go try and get it tomorrow. There wasn't like a dare, like, I go ahead, duty, I dare you to do it. There was like, just go ahead, you'll see what I mean. You'll, I know my point will be proven. 
So that's what I meant, but apparent, I get how that was not exactly accurately conveyed. Holy fuck, hey Baxter again, holy shit. Now we are going to count how many times a person can be as, what? I don't even know where the hell that, I didn't, I don't even know where that comes from. Like that, I'm trying to provide context here when it's not there. I don't know where she got that context from because that existed nowhere in this stream. It's weird. Colleen Bennett says, but it's okay for KJ to blast a child's essay report, right, or whatever. Um, I get everyone's go-to for that or whatever, but I just want to state, because I don't want to, there to be any confusion here about me, I never once used that as any kind of excuse. That there was never anything that that drove me to do anything. I, I did not do this in retaliation or as a result of anything Katie did regarding anyone else in this regard. Um I just want to state that. I do because I see this a lot, and I think a lot of people have jumped to the conclusion that that's why I did it, and that could not be further from the truth. Thank you, Lorette. I know. You're right. I know. When are you going to stop trying to explain it? I think everyone has heard this. You're right. Some people aren't going to change their minds, and that's okay. And you're right. You're absolutely right. I, I could not agree more. Agree to disagree. I That's what I would love to fucking do. Um, it gets a little annoyed though when I when I'm reading shit, especially from like one of my old mods there, when they're trying to work with this narrative that's complete and total bullshit. Thank you. You realize you know it's bullshit because you were there since day one and you saw like we talked about this. You know what my intent was. You know, and then I guess someone who's been my moderator for a while, who's obviously fucking confused about my intent, and then trying to convince other people of that. You know, that's that's why I keep talking about it. And maybe I am being baited and hooked into it. I don't know, but but that's why. But you're right. You're right. So this was to discredit her when she... When, 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 why won't this pause? When she stated, she stated that Steve SH'd her. Basically stating that this can't be true because she lied about another... What the fuck are you talking about? The two have nothing to do with each other. But wow, there we go with the stretch to bring it back into Steve. Yeah, you could be right about it. Oh. I spent a ton of time claiming Steve never as I never said he never never as a anyone. I don't know every action he's ever taken with every person he's ever come in contact with. Why that seems crazy? Like really, you're claiming that that's what I'm doing? I'm only pointing out that there's no evidence of Katie's claims. Not that there's evidence of Steve's claims. Steve can whatever fuck Steve and his claims. I'm only, only talking about Katie's claims regarding Steve. That's it. There's no evidence of her claim there. Show, show me I'm wrong. Show me the evidence. That's a lie. People have always come for you on this. You just haven't always addressed it. You're right, I haven't always addressed it, but the extent in which people have come for me on Twitter since spring of 2021 i mean i'm sorry were you there before i mean when did you become a mod exactly nikki was it before may of 2021 how many people came for me that i mean how do you know how many people came for me like i think i know i mean whether i address it or not i still know whether or not it, it exists I, I said i was gonna ignore you for this shit what the fuck am i doing It's, I'm only like a half an hour through this. It's going to take forever. All right, 
I'm going to... Oh, this, yeah, this question I love. Did the report number come from the alleged? You know, I'm not even going to comment on that. You, won't, if you guys want to know the answer to that, watch the stream, because I did answer it there. Wow. Oh, I'm going to address this. I don't care because, like, you're not trying to start some shit there, Nikki. Hmm, your colors might be showing. Do you not realize you smirk when PJ asks you a question? Or do you not realize you smirk when PJ asks you a question are insulting? That That's not even a complete sentence, but I'm not sure if you were trying to tell, tell me something or ask me something. Um, if I'm smirking, it's not at PJ or because of PJ. It's because of the question being asked. And she's not asking me the questions per se, necessarily. She's asking me questions being shared with her that people are asking her to ask. So yeah, I am smirking at some of these questions. Yeah, but there's nothing to do with PJ. And nice try though there. Nice try to trying to get me and PJ to go at it or try to cause some animosity there. Yet another person you're trying to turn against me for what? Because I still like Claire? <laughs> K Baxter, I call BS. No kidding. Hey, listen, I I didn't reach, I didn't contact the police right off the bat asking for the report. That's not how it went. I just informed them of what was being said. So, um, I don't have to tell you. And you're right, I can't foresee the future. I can't foresee how everyone's going to feel about something I did. But I'm not acting because, I, because I'm worried about how people are going to feel about me. If I did, that's kind of a narcissistic thing to do, I think. I'm reacting because I'm reacting by doing what I think or feel is correct or right. I mean, really, do you want me to do it for any other reason than that? Do you want me to do it because I'm worried about how people are gonna think about me? I mean, that's fucking, that's weak. That's fucking weak. You know, here's what I'm gonna do too. Fuck it, I don't even care. In the description to this video, I'm going to include a link to my Google Dropbox, the one that I, same one I sent to the police. Now in this Dropbox, it has the videos and the uploads, or the streams and the uploads that Katie did, and the posts that I screenshotted. Look at it, don't look at it, I don't really give a shit. But if you're gonna come at me for something, you should at least respect yourself enough to have the facts. Steve is always involved. No, she no, he's not. You know, I, I have to say though, I what I really loved about this stream is how um in the beginning PJ made a, a comment or whatever about how you know none of this really has to do with Steve. So I mean, why would you even say such a thing or whatever? It's something along the lines. You'll have to watch it to see what I mean. But then by the end of the stream, she's like, I can't believe how this all has to do with Steve. <laughs> Because that's all people were talking about in the fucking chat with Steve. <laughs> and I even told her, I'm like, I know, right? I don't know. You know, I want to kind of end this. I've been going at this for a while now. And I have improv class tonight. And really, this...
Wait, wait, what? Linda, I have to admit this sounds a little sus on how RH got the number. I got what number? What are you talking about, Colleen? Did I miss something up here? Let me scroll up here. Roadhog isn't smart enough to get the case number. Aaron's already said she didn't give it to him, but does she know who might have? He. What makes you think he even got the case? Seriously, because from what I recall, there were some screenshots from our stream that were put up in the subreddit. And from what I seen on Roadhog's video way back when, those were the same screenshots. Like that's all he had were the screenshots from Reddit. So what makes you think, what makes any of you think that he even got the report to begin with? I mean, he's, he just, it looks like he just shared information from the subreddit. Uh, I, I, so I don't understand. Like, if I'm wrong, please tell me, because there's, obviously there's something I just don't know about here, and I need to know, apparently. Um, that's all I want to say about that, really. Yeah, Little Red did miss, you did miss, miss much of the backlash. Um, in fact, I didn't even realize that you were getting backlash until I watched Charlotte's stream, uh, like, days later, her second one there, when she then kind of told people that they need to give me the backlash instead of you. <laughs> Thankfully, no one really listened. See, again, Lucy, with the same fucking question. Oh, and Kay Baxter again. <laughs> There's a shock. More BS. Really? What, what makes it BS? Tell me. Tell me how you know that this is BS. Prove to me. Show me this. If you want to talk about how full of shit I am, then talk about how full of shit I am. Show me I'm full of shit. That doesn't even make sense. Ooh, Jenny Foster, did Little Red make money on that stream? I don't know if she did, but so what if she did? What's your point? Hmm? Be, do, do you think PJ's making money on this stream right here? Do you, Are you concerned with that? I mean, I'm not. I'm not at all concerned with that. I hope she is. But, I mean, why does that matter? Weird. Do you think, do you think Charlotte's been making money on, on any of this? I mean, do you have a problem with that? I mean, if you're monetized, you make money. You talk about things that are going to attract viewers or that, and or that interest you. What is the problem with that? So long as you're not doing it irresponsibly. Let's call the police and ask. Go for it. It's a free country. Of course, oh, but that was Kay Baxter again. They were qu great questions. I really, I, I thought so too. Miles, Miles, Mom, forty. Miler's Mom, forty. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. But yeah, I, I got. I have to say, I really do. I was. I wasn't expecting a walk in the park conversation like I had on Unistream, I'll be honest, and that's not what I got. Um, I wasn't expecting some like drag out debate or fight either, you know. Um, I was expecting a real conversation with, you know, possibly some difficult questions, you know, and that's exactly what I got. And th honestly, that's what I want. I mean, ask me. Don't, don't avoid things because you're worried about my feelings. If there's something you, I, I'm, I'd much rather be asked and allowed to give an answer than have people just speculate and make shit up behind my back. So, um, and it, oftentimes it's usually you have to pick one or the other, you know? Um, so yeah, I appreciate this. I appreciate this opportunity. I appreciate her wanting to and asking me and giving me this opportunity. I, like, I appreciate it more than she even realizes, I probably. Um, and I thank her for this. So I do agree, they were some, they were good questions. I don't believe you on that. Okay, that's cool. I don't even know what it's about, but okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I'm going to be playing these whataboutisms or whatever, or any of these logical fallacies that people want to create. I mean, all those are is really just a tactic and a tool to underhandedly try to persuade those witnessing to come around to your thinking rather than look at the facts and the, the logic of a situation. So I'm not playing that. Whatever. And I hate, fucking hate philosophy, and I'm, you, I was just made to say that right now. Sure, she laughs, whatever you say. Um, again, I'm not, all right. So, again, okay, Belinda Paul, I just, does she know who gave Mr. Roadhog Katie's documents? I'm going to guess that Roadhog got of himself from the subreddit. Maybe you'll cover them more like you won't, but I digress. You bet your ass you digress. <laughs> You know, on that note, I think I'm going to pretty much end it here. Um, oh, oh, I do want to address some of these. Okay, yeah. What the hell, man? She brought it up. Why not? Why the hell not? Um, let me pause this for now. Okay. So, Katie, or Katie, <laughs> oops, Kate Baxter, I swear I didn't mean that. <laughs> um, her friend, Shashamaya, jumped on my live stream. So, people I know went to your live stream. How is that my fault? That's fucking weird. Again, reaching as far as you can. Um, Aaron, that whole thing was planned and you know it. Well, whole thing was planned. Okay, you know what? If that was planned, well, then your original stream, that whole thing was planned and you know it. How's that? Okay? Nothing. I, I don't even know what you're talking about there. I really don't. But whatever. The comments were what? Six weeks ago? I don't know how long ago they were, but let's argue and say, let's say you're right. Okay, yeah, that's six weeks ago. I would never go in your comments and fight with your daughter. They were your comment sections. It was your comment section. I went there to talk to you, not your daughter. Maybe your daughter shouldn't be in your comment section fighting with people who view your YouTube channel. But whatever, I digress. I do think there is one possibility. I don't know. I haven't looked, gone back and looked. But I'll admit that this could be possible that I might have commented in one. I commented in a couple places under the video. But in one of the places I commented on, it could have been because I thought I was talking to you, but it was your daughter. I mean, you guys kind of have the same name almost. I think she even made a comment that you named her after you. I'm just saying. Um, I could have fucked that up, sure. But if you read the comment, you clearly see I was, at least thought I was talking to you. In fact, I want to say that your daughter even came back and said something like, do you realize who you're talking to? I'm, it's not her. So obviously that was known. So yeah, again, I didn't go in there looking for your daughter. I don't give a shit about your daughter. I didn't even know she was your daughter and I don't really even care. Um, I went in there to talk to you, but I find it telling though that you kind of pretty much avoided me the whole time and your daughter didn't. So yeah, there's that. And I don't give a shit what you would never do. My daughter wouldn't be in my comment section fighting my battles because I don't need her there. I don't need her to be and she wouldn't want to be. So what's your point? Follow my daughter. Okay, whatever. Yes, I did come in your comments. Yes, you're right. To talk to you. Was I not supposed to do that? Was I supposed to just talk shit about you everywhere else? Or was I supposed to address you? Because I think addressing you is the, the right and the mature and the responsible way to go about it. I'm sorry if you don't agree. Now, now I'm not allowed to come on a YouTube live. What are you talking about? Nobody's trying to silence anyone. Oh, 
here we go. I let Daddy Morgan attack my mod two nights ago. As my mod will tell you, if you ask her, I didn't even know anything about that until after the stream was over. I'm like, what is this shit with Daddy Morgan? What are you talking about? And and I asked, and, and here's the deal. I don't know if that was Daddy Morgan or not. Sure, it's possible. But just because the, the, the fake account said it was Daddy Morgan, if people are taking that as fact, I mean, I can I could have I could have gone into this chat here and said I was I don't even I could have said I was fucking um I don't even know who could I have said I could have said I, I could have said I was Katie I could have said I was Unirock I could have said whatever does that make it true I mean if you're gonna run with that that's kind of weird um I would want more proof before especially I mean think about this now I'm not saying it's not possible I'm not at all it's very possible. But think about what you're saying. People are saying that an account, a sock account, went into the chat, the live chats of people who clearly dislike her under a name that, the thief in the night name, that mocked the reason why they were upset with her to then come out and willingly say that they, they were in fact that person. Make that make sense. I mean, I'm not saying it's not possible. I think, in my opinion, Dottie did, did kind of have a flair for the dramatics a little bit. Um, so, sure, it's possible. But they just, I don't know. I, I think that for me to accept that, I need a little bit more to go on. It's fine if you don't, but, I mean, if it, it was her, yeah, that's fucked up. It's really fucked up. Um, but if that wasn't her, then it wasn't her. I just, I don't have more to say about that. But you won't answer about Daddy Morgan. Why won't I answer about Daddy Morgan? Charlotte didn't mess that up. So much deflection. Really? Because the attorney involved kind of said that she did. Oh, I, I don't have this on, do I? Shoot. Oh, shoot. You guys aren't even, you don't even see what I'm looking at, do you? Or do you? No, you don't. No, wait a minute. You should. Wait, why did this go down again? What the hell happened? Oh, I was on the wrong one. Okay, I'm sorry. I went, I figured a quicker way to go about this is just to read Kate Baxter's 56 comments here and just answer them. Because those, I clearly didn't see during the stream and they seem to I don't know it, uh, represents a lot of the fucked up questions in the chat so I figured this would just be an easier way to wrap this up I'm sorry I didn't show people all the questions so I don't think I was streaming it um so here let me just scroll through so everyone can see all the questions here real quick that I've been addressing Okay, so now I'm caught up to where I left off. Well, Daddy Morgan was in your life attacking your mind. Um, I I already answered that. I mean, it, <laughs> let's be real. Just because Kay Baxter says something, I'm going to take that with a big fucking grain of salt considering how many lies she's been telling to me, so... But I do, I do talk to my mod, and I do listen to my mod, and every, and I will have my mods back. I've been saying that all along. But if we go low or lower than Katie, how are we any better? I, I fully agree with that, one hundred percent. I've been saying that all along. Thank you. I can't with this BS cop excuse. You know what? You know what's funny? Like, that was my first introduction to you, Kate, was way back when that happened. You knew nothing about me. You never contacted me. You never spoke to me before in your life. And right off the bat, you said, yeah, that's bullshit. Wow, like, that's not at all showing your bias there? You know nothing about me. You didn't bother to find out the truth. You just wanted to spin your little gossip story. That's cool. I left. I didn't. Whatever, man. That's your right. I didn't fucking comment on it. But here we are a year and a half later, and you're still trying to do that. Wow. 
That's called please and ask. Go for it. Okay, that's where I left off in the actual comments. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm ending this. Um, here's the thing. Like, I read some of these comments, and I didn't even really, really read all of them like I did until just now. And um, I wanted to just address them. I wanted to answer them. Take it for what you will. And I didn't expect to really get so, like, kind of upset about things as I did now. Or a few minutes ago, um, but it's I, whatever. It is what it is. Part of me thinks I shouldn't even upload this, but I'm I don't give a shit. Um, I don't know how more I can explain it, and I don't care to. I don't want to. Like Little Red pointed out, rightfully so. No one's gonna change their minds, and that's fine. I don't care. But from now on, going forward, let me just say this. If anyone wants to have me on their stream and to ask me questions and talk about shit, I'm shutting this shit down. I'm done. I'm done with this. And instead, I'm going to then include a link to this fucking stream. And in this stream, you will find a link to my Google hard drive. So, or my hard drive, to my Google drive. Because that's, like I said in PJ stream, I think the issue here is that nobody either knows or people forgot what it is Katie was saying and the harm she was potentially doing and the harm she was actually doing. And if you want to come at me for shit I did, well then you need to reacquaint yourself with my reasons for doing it. And if you can't be bothered to do so, well then you should know that you just, you don't care about the facts. You don't care about the truth. You don't even care to just hear the argument. You just want to exploit a situation for your own selfish need. And that's what you want to do, that's fine, that you're right, but I'm not going to play along. I'm not going to help you do that. I'm done. You can be on your own. You can be all alone on your own out on that ledge of assholeness. I'm going to stay in here where it's warm. So on that note, later.